A very good morning to you children. As you all know, this is your computer class and in this video, we will start a new chapter in computer which is chapter number 5, Introduction to Scratch Programming. So let's get started with the topic. Children, as we all know for doing any task, we have to follow some instructions and tasks include many steps. Okay, so for doing any task, we need to follow some instruction. Similarly, in computer, for performing any task, we need to follow some instruction. Okay, so that our task to be. For example, if I ask a student to bring a notebook from a computer lab, but that student is new in our school, he doesn't know the way to the computer lab. So what I will do, I will give some instruction to that student to go to the computer lab. So I am giving such instruction to that student. First instruction will be move to the left from the class and go straight. Okay, so he will move to the left and it, it will he will go to straight. Now after crossing the five classes, now I will tell him to crawl after crossing five classes, he will take a left turn. Okay, so after counting five, one to five classes, he will take a left turn. Now, then move forward and after crossing 6 classes, he has to take a right turn and then he will reach to the computer lab. Okay, so these are steps to be followed by that student so that he will be reaching to that particular computer lab. Okay, similarly in computers, if we want to do some task we need to follow some instructions okay what we have to do we, we need to follow some instruction and these instructions are known as program okay okay so computer also follows stepwise instructions to complete any task and these stepwise instructions are known as program okay now what is a program? Program a computer also follows some stepwise instruction to complete any task. These steps are known as programs. Okay, so the stepwise instructions followed by the computer is known as a program. Okay, for any task means if we want addition of two numbers, how will we get? we have to follow some instructions first we have to enter the two numbers this for example if we want the addition of 2 plus 2 so how we will get first we have to enter the first number second we have to enter the second number and third we have to enter the plus sign but that only computer will understand that we need to get the we want the addition of these two numbers okay so for doing any task we need to follow some instruction in the computer and these instructions are known as program there are many computer programs for performing different different tasks for example wordpad we use wordpad for writing or typing in a computer okay for example wordpad is used for typing or writing in a computer second is tux paint for what purpose we use tux paint we use tux paint to draw in a computer similarly we have calculator we use calculator in computers to perform some calculations so there are many computer program for performing different different tasks okay now in this chapter we shall learn about another program which is known as scratch which is known as scratch now what is a scratch do you know about it what is a scratch a scratch is a simple program okay so what is a scratch scratch is a simple program so children do you, the scratch is a simple program which is made for kids only Okay, so Scratch is made for kids only. It is the simplest program 
which is made for kids and scratch is used to create games animated stories and project okay so scratch is the software which is made only for kids okay where the kids can create games their own games their own animated stories their own pictures and their own projects okay now it is the simplest programming language it is the simplest pro there are many computer languages but scratch is the simplest programming language which is used for which is made for kids okay so that you will be understand better okay now it is a simple program where student can drag the blocks of instruction to create the animation okay so here you don't need to write the program or you don't need to write a instruction but you can directly drag the blocks and block of instruction and create a animation okay okay so scratch is a computer language okay by which computer will understand what you want to be done okay for example english and hindi for communicating with each other which language we use we use english hindi marathi and many language we use for communicating with each other similarly for communicating with the computer system we need a language okay computers does not understand english okay we need a language so scratch is the simplest programming language which is used for kids and which is used to communicate with the computer system okay now how to start a scratch program for scratch for turning on the scratch program for starting it we need to follow some instructions first is click on the start button for every for starting any program we need to first click on the start button so we will click on the start button and second we will choose all program option and after choosing all program option we will click on the scratch okay so that our scratch window will open so this window will open okay so first we have to click on the start button second we will go to the all program and third we will select the scratch program and this window will open okay now the components of scratch window so this is the first window we will see after starting the scratch program okay these are the components of scratch window okay now first is sprite so where is sprite this cat is known as sprite okay so children when you turn on the scratch window the first by default this cat will be visible to you you can change the sprite but by default this cat will be visible to you so this cat is a sprite what is this it is known as sprite okay now what is sprite sprite is a small graphic character it is a cartoon character which can perform all the action which we will whatever instruction we will give to the computer all the actions to be performed by sprite only okay okay now next is stage where is the stage this whole area this is the our working area and this whole area is known as stage okay so stage is the area where sprite moves and perform all the actions now so this work this part is known as blocks palette where all our blocks are there okay yahan par hamare sare blocks hame mil jayenge so okay so for performing any action we need to drag these blocks from here to the script area where is the script area this last third part is known as script area so this third part is known as script area okay so what we have to do we have to drag the instruct box from here and drop all the boxes to the script area okay we have to 
we will drag the blocks from the blocks palette these blocks are here we have to drag those blocks from the blocks palette and drop all the blocks in the script area so whatever is there in the script area our sprite will perform all the actions whatever will be there in the script area all the actions will be performed by our sprite okay now this area from this corner area we can create our new sprite by using this new sprite button okay so we can create our new sprite instead of this cat now here in the sprite list we can create our own sprite and we can create many sprite number of sprites we can create okay now by using this backdrop icons we can create a background now for now it is right now it is white we can create a new background for our sprite and at the corner we have this views full screen mode from where we can view our stage in a full screen this is our menu bar where all our operations are there now first bar is known as title bar where we can see the title which is scratch 2 okay now these are the cursor tools here in the cursor tool by which we can increase the size of the sprite we can create a duplicate we can shrink the size of the sprite from here so children this is all for today in the next class i will show you the practical by how we can create we can move our sprite we can create a new sprite and we can add a backdrop okay so till then be safe in your home and have a very nice day ahead thank you for watching this video